Hello there everybody, it's wee Paddy from Across the Shock and another video this morning on the kind of knife that I love and this is a wee to your knife. This is a £9.12 knife. I ordered it a couple of weeks ago, in fact it was a few weeks ago, uh, in the early hours of the morning when I was watching my phone when I should have been going to sleep. It was called a cuckoo which at that time of the morning it seemed like a good idea, let's just buy this because it looks good. I love the fact that it was a hollow grind. There's not that many knives about with hollow grinds now. And this is a small utility knife and I thought, that'll do for me. So I ordered it. Now I would do this, in all honesty, every now and then. If I see a wee cheap knife, I'll buy them to see whether they're worth putting on the channel. This one is worth putting on the channel. It's just a lovely. It's about the same size, I suppose, as a wee pilar. It's about six and a half inches long. But there's a two and three quarter inch cutting blade which is pretty good and you know that, that to me what's that in centimeters let's give you that in centimeters so it's about seven centimeters cutting length and about six point two five um centimeters long no what did i say i no <laughs> 16 and a half centimeters long and a seven centimeter blade. Now, I'm going to get this all out of the way first because you know what I'm like. I end up forgetting half of it. Now, we'll do across the spine here. She is, she's a full half, uh, eighth of an inch and three millimeters. And across the back of her, she is half an inch, um, which is the normal good size knives are half an inch. So that's a good handle grip. And it's nicely shaped for a little small knife. What weight does she come in at? I would say she'll be under three. She doesn't seem that heavy. Now, let's just get this. It's in grams. So we have 80 grams. 80 grams and we'll go to 2.8 ounces. So that's really, really nice little weight. You don't feel it in your pocket. Now, when I showed it before, it had a rubbish tip down and it was a horrible clip. I don't like tip down. So what I done was I took that off. I found this wee deep carry pocket one. I took the screw out of the last stanchion at the back. Got a wee bit of a longer one and then just put this, set it on top of the G10, screwed it down in. There's only one screw. Now, it's steady and it's safe at the minute. But it might loosen. But I always carry my jeans. The wee Torx Allen key that can tighten it if it does happen to come loose. But it hasn't yet. And I've had it most of the morning. I've actually um, been doing sharp testing. And I'm going to show you now a wee quick picture of where I do and uh, where I do the, sh the testing normally. I've been doing it in the house to show recently. But down downstairs, I'll take you down to the, the bin room, as we call it here. And uh, the bowels will show you what the testing facility is like. See you in a minute. Now, hello everybody, my name's The Bowles and I do the testing for Paddy down here. It's a very damp old morning down here. That's fresh air out right there. I don't go out there much in that old fresh air. So I've got this wee knife he gave me. I've been doing testing on a thicker cardboard and I thought, to be honest with you, it's so damp. I just done double this over so it gives it a wee bit of substance. But... This is one beautiful, sharp little knife. Did it struggle going through damp paper this morning? It women did. Any knife would struggle through a little damp, thick cardboard. I mean, some of that cardboard I was cutting this morning, I'm trying to show you the thickness, it was right out of good, thick stuff. But this is just to show you that even after doing that, she's got a good wee edge on her. She's a great wee knife. I think he paid about nine quid, about $12. He tells me, I don't know what these dollars are like. Lovely little knife. I would sit here all day doing this if I could. Love it. Right, I'm going to pass you back up to the master again. See you later. All the best from the bowels. Now, welcome back again. You met the bowels. That's a fella that does all my testing for me. Really nice fella. Handsome. Handsome fella. But he likes down in the, the bin room. He stays down there for hours sometimes doing testing. And his wife thinks he's a nut. But, this has come back. And now I was doing the test in a wee bit earlier, but that wee knife is still reasonably sharp. Oh, I'm going to say that now, as soon as you put it on the paper, it'll make a liar out of you. But it is still, we're still cutting away there. So, it's not 
great but look look this is why i like cheap steels i'll come back up i should really take the glue all off it because there's glue on it all i do is this we cc4 still i recommend this all the time and um, if you get it and you get the same joy as i do now what was that a couple of wee drops nothing much at all from downstairs 8 cr14 with the difference now now if i go on and do a wee bit more that'll get sharper but that's nearly back to cutting foam paper with a couple of wee drops you just can't beat a cheap blade steel at times it's just what you need it's just what's called for to get a wee bit of work done and then get it sharpened quickly do a wee bit more so i really recommend that though it's a great wee tool in your armory so i, I highly recommend it again i'll just show you i mean the chamfering all around it there's no hot spots on it and like how do they do it for that price look at that g10 lovely contours on it. there's a bit of grip it's actually quite grippy g10 i just don't know how they do it for that price look at the shine that stuff puts back in that wee knife and i never even wiped the glue off it but that puts the shine back on it really is lovely there's a lanyard hold at the back of it if you want to use one um the liner lock locks up there it's about i would say 70 percent 80 percent maybe but that's fine in a wee knife like this it's a good solid liner lock it's weight relieved at the top again all the extra expense to go to for a wee small knife but it gets it under three ounces 2.8 great little carry knife uh, great for about the house throw it in the, the bottom of your drawers uh, anywhere you want if you've got bug out bags fire them into it because as long as you've got a pair of jeans on you can really bring that back to sharpness i must do that one day just to to show you that in fact yes i'll do that rather soon um how to get a wee cheap knife back to sharpness out in the field without the aid of stropping devices or um cc4s so take care folks thanks very much i highly recommend it just a good wee knife all around just that hollow grind is just lovely it's a joy i think when you cut when you haven't used hollow grind for a while and you get one and you realize oh because it, it's that initial first cut through you just feel the knife going you don't even have to push it you know it's going to go it's lovely so take care cheap and cheerful all the very best. Bye. Paddy's away for a wee cup of tea.